Out we go. And the first thing? Shona Lisa. I brought Shona Lisa in. She is having a Broviac put in to her chest today. She is dependent on IVs for her nutrition. Hey, <laughs> you had no I'm anticipating we'll place the Broviac. Yes, because it was caught under the collarbone in the first rib. I'll wait in the waiting room, and as soon as they let me know, I'll be out there. And as hard as you can imagine that would be to deal with for one child, People like Karen go out and look to take care of two, three, four, six more children at the same time. Crazy, chaos. Tell them how much you love me and what an adorable mom I am. <laughs> but it's organized chaos. I think I better go to bed and start the day over again, huh? We've really only had 11 children. And we have six right now that are living with us. Oh, the joy is number 12. I'm sorry. We have had 12. This is my one opportunity to read without being interrupted, and I am going to take advantage of it. My free time consists of sitting in waiting rooms. That is the only time when I am free of a child. She lives this day in and day out. I leave and go to my client's offices. I get away from it periodically. She doesn't. Nurse is coming at two to draw blood. I need to get Shoni's dressing changed. I don't think though that I have touched on the other side of it, and that is the times when you are crying in the bathroom because of one of your children. And I think of all the other moms out there doing this very same thing that we're doing. My mother is fearless, protective, loving. My mom is my best friend. She's a great listener. She is my top supporter, no matter what. My mom makes things happen. She has a knack for making every day better. Better than the one before. Thank you to all our caregivers. You make us believe in miracles. We all love our moms. Moms are special. This is a special class of mom. These are the, the mothers that should be recognized for what they do and don't get recognized for what they do. I mean, this is where the rubber meets the road. One of my mentors um, in fellowship used to say, there's a special place in heaven reserved for people like this, and we will all stand in line behind them. <laughs>